Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Hello halal family, welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video we'll be reacting to Indonesia, the ultimate travel guide Best places to visit, explore the emerald of the equator This video was suggested by Popeye Thank you very much for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion Stay tuned guys, we'll be right back with the video Welcome back guys, inshallah we're gonna get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video um, I'll be sharing with you my observation and uh, reaction so please make sure uh, you stay uh, until the end With that said guys, grab a cup of coffee, tea, relax, chill, sit down This video is around 16-17 minutes long so let's enjoy it and then my reaction will be at the end Let's get started with our video Eighteen thousand islands, three hundred languages spoken, the largest archipelago in the world. It's a beguiling country offering myriad adventures. Welcome to Indonesia. Join us as we discover the Emerald of the Equator. MISC Travel Guide bringing you the ultimate travel guide to Indonesia. With over 18,000 islands, 6,000 of them inhibited, this largest Southeast Asian country is no short of breathtaking sights, inspiring diversity, and deeply rooted histories. The Indonesian archipelago spreads over 5,200 kilometers between the Asian mainland and Australia, all of it within the tropics, and comprises 18,000 islands. Indonesia has something unique to offer everyone. From the cool white sands and raucous volcanoes of Bali, to the vibrant capital city of Jakarta, to the untouched lands of Sumatra, you can always find something different here. This island nation has some of the largest remaining tracts of tropical forest anywhere in the world, and is home to several beautiful scuba diving and snorkeling spots as well. An overview of the best places to visit in Indonesia. Jakarta Indonesia's massive capital is a large, bustling city with a population of over 10 million, sits on the northwest coast of the island of Java. A historic mix of cultures, Javanese, Malay, Chinese, Arab, Indian, and European, has influenced its architecture, language, and cuisine. The old town Kota Tua is home to Dutch colonial buildings, Gladauk, Jakarta's Chinatown, and the old port of Sunda Kilapa, where traditional wooden schooners dock. Central Midan Merdeka Square is the site of the National Monument, or Monas, a marble obelisk with an observation deck and the enormous Istiqlal Mosque. The National Museum traces Indonesian history through archipelago relics, statues, ceramic, and jewelry. The city has numerous modern malls and specialist shopping areas, such as the antique market, Jalan Surabaya. Offshore are the Thousand Islands, some with beach resorts, some uninhabited all part of a marine national park. Although the city is known for its heavy traffic and high levels of pollution, it is filled with an exciting nightlife and vibrant shopping areas. Lombok Lombok is an Indonesian island east of Bali and west of Sumbawa, part of the Lesser Sunda island chain. It's known for beaches and surfing spots, particularly Akuta and Banko Banko in South Lombok. The motor vehicle free Gili Islands, Gili Trawangan, Gili Air, and Gili Menno off Lombok's west coast offer more beaches, reefs for diving and snorkeling, and a sea turtle hatchery. To the west, Sungigi is a popular beach resort and the gateway to the Gilis. West Lombok also has important temples, most notably 
the 18th century Perlingsar, and Macharam, the provincial capital, home to craft shops and a historical museum, Museum Negri. In the central highlands are Gunung Rinjani National Park and Mount Rinjani, an active volcano topped by a crater lake that's a trekking and pilgrimage destination. Northern Lombok features jungles, waterfalls, and traditional Sasak villages. Lombok is often compared to its closest neighbor, Bali. The island has the same kind of beautiful beaches and volcanic sceneries with less commercialism and fewer crowds, making it one of the best places to visit in Indonesia. Bandung Capital of Indonesia's West Java province is a large city set amid volcanoes and tea plantations. It's known for colonial and art deco architecture a lively university town feel, and thanks to its 768 meter elevation, relatively cool tropical weather. Nicknamed the Paris of Java during the Dutch colonial period, Bandung retains 1920s and 30s landmarks, like the neoclassical Gidong Sate, Sate Building, now the office of the provincial governor, it has a rooftop resembling the Indonesian skewered meat dish. There's also the Art Deco mansion Villa Isola and the Sundanese roofed ceremonial hall at the acclaimed Institute Technology Bandung. Nearby natural sites include Tangupan Parahu, upside down boat volcano, with trekking and horseback riding above active craters. There's also the light turquoise crater lake, Kawapush, and Patinging Lake, surrounded by tea plantations. Surabaya. Surabaya is a port city on the Indonesian island of Java a vibrant, sprawling metropolis. It mixes modern skyscrapers with canals and buildings from its Dutch colonial past. It has a thriving Chinatown and an Arab quarter whose ample mosque dates to the 15th century. The Tugu Palawan Heroes Monument honors the independence battle waged in Surabaya streets in 1945. The city's shopping options range from glitzy, multi-level shopping malls to overflowing chaotic bazaars, and its food seen from street stalls to upscale international restaurants. On the city's outskirts, the modern enormous Al-Akbar Mosque, with its distinctive blue-green domes, offers an elevator ride to the top of a minaret with panoramic views. For most foreign visitors, the city is merely a transport hub. For locals, Surabaya is closely linked to the birth of the Indonesian nation, as it was here that the battle for independence began. Bromo Tengger Samiru National Park. A lunar like landscape of epic proportions and surreal beauty, the volcanic Bromo region is one of Indonesia's most breathtaking sites. The Bromo Tengger Samiru National Park is best known for its awesome scenery of a vast, ancient volcanic crater and a host of picturesque volcanoes that have emerged from it. The park is named after two mountains, Mount Samiru, Mount Bromo, and the Tengger people who inhabit the area. Samiru is the highest mountain in Java, as well as one of Indonesia's most active volcanoes. 
The smoldering cone of Bromo stands in a sea of volcanic sand, surrounded by the lowering cliffs of the crater's edge. The Bromo Tengger Samiru National Park covers a massive area of 800 square kilometers in the center of East Java. For anyone with an interest in volcanoes, a visit to the park is a must. Lake Toba. Lake Toba is one of the awesome natural wonders of the world. This enormous crater lake has an island almost the size of Singapore in its center. At over 1,145 square kilometers and a depth of 450 meters, Lake Toba is actually more like an ocean. formed by a gigantic volcano eruption some 70,000 years ago, is probably the largest resurgent caldera on Earth. Toba has been part of a traveler folklore for decades. This grand ocean blue lake found up among Sumatra's volcanic peaks is where the amiable Christian Batak people reside. This is the largest lake in Southeast Asia and one of the deepest lakes in the world. Toba is a beautiful place to come and sit back, relax, and absorb some beautiful, pristine scenery. As the lake sits 900 meters above sea level, there is a cooler climate here, making a refreshing break from the heat, humidity, and pollution of the city. Jakarta. If Jakarta is Java's financial and industrial powerhouse, Jakarta is its soul. Central to the island's artistic and intellectual heritage, Jakarta is where the Japanese language is at its purest, the arts at their brightest, and its traditions at their most visible. Jakarta, often called Jogja, is a city on the Indonesian island of Java known for its traditional arts and a cultural heritage. Its ornate 18th century royal complex, or Kraton, encompasses the still-inhabited Sultan's Palace. Jakarta, together with its twin city, Surakarta, Solo, is the cradle of civilization on Java. This city was a seat of power that produced the magnificent temples of Borobudur and Prambanan in the 8th and 9th century in the new powerful Macharam kingdom of the 16th and 17th century, Jakarta is known as never-ending Asia for its endless appeals. This city is one of the foremost cultural centers of Indonesia. All of this and many more to explore has brought Jakarta as the second most visited destination in Indonesian after Bali. Raja Empat Islands The sparsely populated Raja Empat Islands comprise more than 1,500 islands just off Sarang. With their sublime scenery of sleep, jungle-covered islands, scorching white sand beaches, hidden lagoons, spooky caves, weird mushroom-shaped islets, and pellucid turquoise waters, Raja Ampat has to be one of the most beautiful island chains in Southeast Asia. Located off the northwest tip of the island of New Guinea, Raja Ampat, the Four Kings, is a vast archipelago comprising over 1,500 small islands and caves. Marine surveys suggest that the marine life diversity around the Raja Ampat Islands is the highest recording on Earth, making it one of the most famous dive destinations in the world. The staggering abundance of marine life is due in part to its incredibly low human population density. 
the Raja Ampat Islands are a truly natural phenomenon with enormous biological diversity. The amazing marine landscape means that underwater photography should be on the top of your list during your stay. However, with Raja Ampat's natural conditions, high endemic level of land, sea biodiversity, coastal ecology, and local culture and tradition, the islands offer more than just amazing landscapes to photograph. Bali Bali is one of the world's most popular island destinations, and one which consistently wins travel awards. The varied landscape, rugged coastlines, tropical beaches, lush rice terraces, and volcanic hillsides all provide a picturesque backdrop to its colorful, deeply spiritual, and unique Hindu culture. The combination of friendly people, a magnificently visual culture infused with spirituality, and spectacular beaches with great surfing and diving have made Bali the most popular tourist destination in Indonesia. Bali is one of the most evocative and popular tourist islands of the entire Indonesian archipelago. Despite the clamor and chaos of the main tourist areas, the island is rich in natural beauty with attractions for every kind of traveler. Ubud is the heart of Bali, a place where the culture of the island is most accessible, and it shares the island's most beautiful rice fields and ancient monuments with the East and West Bali. Tanalat Temple is one of Bali's most important landmarks. An ancient Hindu shrine perched on top of an outcrop amidst constantly crashing waves, Tanalat Temple is simply among Bali's not-to-be-missed icons. The mere mention of Bali evokes thoughts of a paradise. It's more than a place, it's a mood, an aspiration, a tropical state of mind. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please... Wow, mashallah. Indonesia is beautiful, guys. You know, they showed so many different cities and provinces and regions, and each and every one of them had their own beauty. So, um, Raj Ampat, like little islands, uh, the biodiversity, different sea life and fish and the beach and the water, guys. Oh, Mosala, super, super beautiful. Uh, Ming Travel, hit me up. If you want to send me to Indonesia, I'll make you guys a video of all these beautiful places. Mosala, super, super, super beautiful. I love this video. Uh, how they just, you know, in 16, 17 minutes, they shoot all over Indonesia. And it gave a little bit of history. They showed Sorabaya. That's where the Battle of Sorabaya started and uh, basically started the um, initial war for uh, independence. And uh, Bali, Jakarta, uh, Yogyakarta, Jakarta, and uh, Java, and uh, Mosul, everywhere. Bandung, Lombok. Uh, I'm slowly getting used to some of the places guys Alhamdulillah I'm remembering it and I could recognize some of them seeing them in previous videos so really really cool thank you very much guys for suggesting it I truly enjoyed it I hope you guys did too if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you'd like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always guys thank you very much for all your love and support I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family and inshallah I'll see you guys in the next video take care wassalam